Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. I'm here with another match preview battle this week for the Liverpool away game. It is Craig Mitch with the squeaky chair. Hi, Craig. Hi, our squeaky chair. It's yeah. me. It's Emma Story with no squeaky chair. How are you? Hello. Okay, you know what we do first, though, in our match preview battles? We go over the previous match preview battle, which was Emma versus Reese for the Germany versus England game. Now, we all know that match finished Germany 2. England Hotspur 3, yep. that's how it finished. But what I can tell you is that in terms of last week's match preview battle, uh, Emma against Reese, the scores came in as follows. Go and check that uh, old video if you haven't seen it, by the way. It's very good. Uh, Emma came out with six points. So she got, she got six Disaster. predictions right in terms of the score and the scorers and the team selection. Reese, however, who was previously bottom of the table, 10 points, victory by four points, which means overall Reese was the winner. So he gets three points, just like in a league table. Emma, zero points. So currently, the league table, after all players have played two games each, is as follows. In third place, with one point and a plus 21 goal difference, is Emma Story. In second place, with three points and a plus 20 goal difference, so slightly worse than yours, that's something, is Reese James. And sitting top of the pile, as he has done since the first week, with four points and a plus 26 goal difference, is Craig Mitch. Hey, experience. Uh, so that's it. Yeah, he has been doing the match previews all year. So there's a lot of pressure on him to stay at the top of the table. Anyway, this is all about Liverpool versus Spurs. Ooh. Remember, they get points for correctly guessing what the score will be, who will score for both teams, and the lineups. And then at the end, so keep watching. We will be uh, we will be doing other match predictions uh, around us, the top five or six teams, and they get points if they get those correct. And finally, whether they get the league table prediction at the end of the weekend correct as well. We will also be fitting in a couple of memories and some stats in the middle. So I'm going to start with Emma's story. Emma, Liverpool versus Spurs. What do you predict the score to be? I'm going positive. Mm -hmm. I've got a feel-good factor uh -huh. after the England game. Mm -hmm. I'm saying we're going to win 2-1. 2-1 Tottenham Hotspur. And your predicted scorers, please. My predicted scorers are the boys, yeah. Harry Kane, without yeah. a doubt. And I think Delhi's going to pop up. I think he's going to put that miss against Germany behind him. Mm -hmm. Smash it in. Harry Kane, Deli Alley in a 2-1 Spurs win at Anfield, where we don't win very often. No, but I think uh, this is the season to change that. Emma Story. Oh, and uh, Liverpool Coutinho would be my score. Uh, Liverpool, Liverpool Coutinho, yes, that's what I was going to ask next, obviously. <coughs> uh, so, Craig Mitch, <laughs> how do your predictions differ from Emma Story's? Mine's positive as well. Oh. Just a bit more positive. I'm going for 3-1. Oh! Good. I think, I just think we've got more, we're just better than them. Okay. We're just better than them. I think we're going to show it. We're heads and shoulders better than above them. They're, they they can't compete with us. I'm going with 3-1. Who's going to score for us? I'm going with Kane, Ali, hmm. and I think an Ericsson free kick. Okay. I think he's overdue one. It's been a while. Just He's so been you know, you don't get an extra point if it is in fact a free kick. I was trying to edit in there. Kick. I was trying nice to edit try. in there. <laughs> and, and who do you think will score for Liverpool? I'm going with Firmino. Uh, Firmino. I'm going with the other Brazilian. I'm going to go with him. Okay, so they are the score and scorers. Predictions, as you've seen. Let's go to uh, some memories now. Uh, Craig Mitch, I'll come to you first. What memories do you have of Liverpool Spurs games? I have a bad memory. Um, the last time I was at a Liverpool Spurs game, it was at White Hart Lane. It was in 2013, oh, and we were battered 5-0. And I was right behind the goal when Luis Suarez put in a brace. We were absolutely destroyed. And I remember Paulinho getting sent off. Oh. In like the 60th minute. Don't and even I, bring up his name. I know, I know, it makes me sick. And um, yeah, it was just, it was a really, really bad day. I paid like 58 pound for the ticket. My mate sorted it out for me. I was, I was just fuming, I was absolutely fuming. But I remember, and you guys aren't gonna like me for this, but bear in mind, it was like three years ago. I remember when the fifth goal went in, it was right near the end of the game. And uh, Hugo Lloris went in the back of the net to dig out the ball, and it was silent. And it wasn't a lot, there was a lot of blue seats around me, and I stood up and I shouted at Hugo Lloris, you're fucking shit. And he definitely heard me. He did. Whoa. He def but I was that angry. Whoa. I was so and it wasn't his fault because that idiot, Carl Norton, was playing that game as well. And I think it was the last time we saw him play for us. You and it was actually the last time AVB played for us, um, managed us as well. The fickle nature you of Craig Mitch. You accused her Hugo. of being fickle. You called Hugo yeah. fucking shit. Apologise to Hugo. Apologise to him the, now. Down, down the barrel. Say Apologize. you're sorry. Guys, guys, guys. No, guys, say you're sorry. Guys, guys. I'm sorry, Hugo. Have as much cigarettes as you want. 
I'm sorry. You love him, don't you? I love him. Yeah. I love him. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so a negative memory from Craig Mitch. Emma? <laughs> well, tragically, mine is also quite negative, but okay. it's funny that you mentioned that 5 nil hideousness Who's because up? that is also my memory, but I've got a slightly different negativeness out of it. I was actually living in Australia at the time, and they have got an amazing Spurs fan club in Australia, in Sydney, called Australia Spurs. They're legends. Hi, guys. Massive shout out to you. Good night, mate. Hey, go. Jesus. Anyway, Jesus. Uh, it's one thing. It is one thing watching your team lose five nil in real time and it being bloody hideous. It is a whole other level of hideousness hmm. when a four p.m. Sunday kickoff means you have to be in the pub to watch the game at three a.m. Monday morning when you have to be at work at seven a.m. and you watch your team ship five goals against Emma, that lot. Emma, I've seen your Instagram. You're always in the pub at three in the morning. Well, yeah, I mean, every, but, every morning as far as I can tell. But, but not not to check watch... out her Instagram. Instagram, what is it? At Emma uh, Story? Um, Spurs Emma 81. Spurs Emma 81. Uh, but, yeah, but no, to watch that level of disaster when you've had no sleep and you know you've got to go to work on no sleep, mm. it's hideous. Yeah. It's so hideous. It was my worst Spurs memory but of that least, whole at year. At least you didn't shout at Hugo Lloris. No, so I right. didn't. So that's okay, right. and a little stat. Have you got a little stat for us, Emma, to do with the game or to do with Spurs? <laughs> I'm afraid it's a depressing stat as well, no, but I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. This has all turned a little bit depressing. I, I, I'm just because I'm countering the positiveness of uh, my prediction. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, and the fact that, you know, the old Spurs is gone, but in mm. our last five league games mm. uh, against Liverpool, we have conceded 15 goals. Okay, that's not good, but like you said, that's old <laughs> but Spurs. But that's old Spurs. Craig, old anything Spurs. positive? Stat wise, no, it's a negative one as well, and it's very similar. Uh, we've won once in our last eight prem meetings oh against God. Liverpool, okay. and the last well time we won was in 2012. But it leads on to a positive, which okay. is that I think we're due a win. Yeah, exactly. Against I'm just going to bring a bit more positivity. My memory would be Eric Edmonds' goal against oh, them at wow. was from about dude. 700 yards yeah. <laughs> with his left foot across the keeper. And yeah. I remember where I was, I was in a pub in North London on my own watching it and I was going on your absolutely own? yeah I used to go Weird. and watch Spurs on my own every week in the pub because I didn't Aww. have a season ticket because I'm no spoiled friends. sometimes and well no yeah so now we'll go on to team selections uh, I'm going to start with you <laughs> Craig Mitch yes. what is your team selection for Liverpool versus Spurs right so we're filming this on a Tuesday let's just put that out there and before the international second international game yeah. <laughs> before the so home game. what I will say is if Depending if there aren't any injuries completely sure. unchanged from Bournemouth. If there are, and at the moment, at this point in time, it's looking like only Lamella, then Son will come in. Okay, so your team is uh, as follows. It is uh, Hugo Lloris, Kyle Walker, Toby Alderweireld, Kevin Vimmer, Danny no, Rose. No, let's change that. Jan Vertonghen over Kevin Vimmer. So it's not completely I'm unchanged. Not sure. Okay, okay, so Jan Vertonghen. Keeping it Kevin consistent Vimmer. with my debate, man. Then Eric Dyer, <laughs> Moussa Dembele, Eric Lamella, yep. Christian Eriksen, Deli Ali, Harry Kane. Yes. Okay, that's pretty. So, Could uh, potentially only lose Super a point there on the centre half. Yeah. Super Yamba Tongan in for Kevin Vimmer. Emma Story, what's your team selection? Uh, no, I am disagreeing and I am going unchanged from Bournemouth. So, Hugo, Walker, Toby, Vimmer, and Rose. Dyer, Dembele, Lamella, Ali, Eriksson, and Kane. Yeah, like we talked about, I think everyone seems to know our uh, our first eleven. Okay, so um, as if there's not been an edit in this at all, let's go on to <laughs> match predictions for the other matches around us, uh, those in the top six or seven. So the matches that you have to predict are Arsenal versus Watford, Bournemouth versus Manchester City, West Ham versus Crystal Palace, Leicester versus Southampton, and Man United versus Everton. I'm going to come to you first. Emma Story, what are your match predictions? Okay, so starting off with um, that lot down the road against Watford. I mean, I've been really impressed with Watford this season. I think we all have, and I think they can snatch a draw. Oh, nice. uh, I think it will finish 1-1 okay. at the Emirates, which would be lovely, mm -hmm. quite frankly. Um, Bournemouth, Man City, I think despite Bournemouth's good form um, at home, especially, I think Man City will be too strong, and they will win 2-1. Uh, West Ham against Crystal Palace. Tragically, Palace are obviously shocking in the league this season. They're in massive free fall towards the relegation zone. West Ham, annoyingly, are brilliant at home, so I think it's going to be a 3 0 win to them. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Leicester Southampton. Leicester Southampton. The big one. The big one. After our big one. After our big one. I, um, funnily enough, I think the international break might actually have worked in our favour because I think it sort of halted Leicester's momentum a mm -hmm. little bit, or will halt Leicester's momentum. Mm -hmm. Um, Southampton are excellent. They are super well organised, um, very good defensively. Just and off the back of being Liverpool 3 2, having been 2 0. Well, down. yeah, which was obviously a really good day. Yeah. Um, Show me the money. 
I I think I don't think they'll win Southampton because I think it's a little bit too much of a stretch given it's at home for Leicester, but I think it will be a draw. Okay. I think it's going to be 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. Come on, Man- Southampton. And Man United versus Everton. And Man United, Everton. Uh, neither team can defend and they're both playing for not very much. So I don't think United have got a hope of getting top four. So I think it's going to finish 2-2. But they did just beat Man City, didn't they, to, yeah. to close it up there? Yeah. Not sure. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Craig? What are your predictions? Um, all right. So Woolwich versus Watford. I'm going for two one to Woolwich. Oh. I just feel like they're not going to have a repeat of the FA Cup. Last they're going to learn from that. Something. Yeah. I mean, they were they were poor against them. They didn't take their chances at their in the FA Cup, and I just don't think there's going to be a repeat of that. They're going to make sure they get the job done. Unfortunately, and stay near us, which is annoying. But yeah, I think they're going to win two one. Bournemouth versus Manchester City. A part of me wants to say Bournemouth are going to want to respond after we battered them. Yeah. And uh, they've been decent this half of the season, decent. but Man City can't afford another slip-up. I mean, they're not really in it, but they need to get top four in order for Pep to really come in and be in the Champions yeah. League and still. West, and West Ham are really pushing him for top four. Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I think it's going to be 3-1 to Manchester City uh, against Bournemouth. Mm-hmm. Uh, West Ham and Palace... I feel like this one's going to go to the wire. I feel like Palace really... They were so poor poor against so Leicester. Bad. They're so bad, but I think they really need to they really need to fix up a bit. I don't think they're going to have enough to beat West Ham away, so I think it's going to be 2-1, but it's going to go to the wire maybe a West Ham right. late goal 2-1. Leicester and Southampton is this is the one and I honestly think it will be a draw. I think Southampton are defensively very good. Mm-hmm. Um just don't want your, your, oh, oh, your tones oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, well organised. Have you not heard how loud he is? Yeah, I project. That's it will just like. Um, yeah, no, I just think it will be a draw. I, I agree with Emery in the sense that I feel like they will lose momentum, but equally, I just think Southampton are a very good team, very well organised. Ronald Common knows what he's doing, so yeah. I'm going to go with one. Very interesting you've both gone for draws because in my predictions, I had, I thought um, a few mo- a weeks ago, which you should watch if you haven't, I thought Leicester would draw at Palace and I thought they'd beat Southampton. So if it does flip round the other way because they won at Palace, still, that, that, still that, on I'm a still bit. on still still predictions. Still on. I've also, by the way, got us to draw at Liverpool, so anyway, we'll see. Manchester United versus Everton. I've gone for a score draw as well, but 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one. Yeah. okay. So there are all your predictions in. Now, how do those predictions affect the league table? Craig, I'll come to you first. All right, so come that leaves... Start at sixth. Or... That starts with... Okay, at sixth, we've got Manchester United will be on 53 points. West Ham will be in fifth on 53 points. Manchester City will be in fourth on 54 points. Arsenal will be third on 58 points. Remember, I think all of those four have a game in hand. Mm-hmm. I think. Is it West Ham as well? Uh, Not sure. I think majority of them have a game in hand. Mm-hmm. Um, Spurs, 64 points. And Leicester on 67, leaving us three points behind three Leicester. Three points behind. I'd be pretty Whoa. happy with that. Emma, it's story. almost identical. So, yeah, sixth I'd forgotten about, but it will be Man United on 53. <laughs> Fifth, West Ham also on 53. Fourth, Man City, 54 Arsenal, third, 56. Spurs, obviously, our boys, second in 64. And Leicester, top, but yes, 67, only three points ahead with a vastly inferior goal difference. So is that exactly the same? No, not not exactly the same on points. So anyway, most importantly, we will see at the beginning of next week's show, not only how they did in that, but also uh, how the England... Holland a match preview ma- battle went because we filmed this before that. That was, I believe, Reese versus Craig. Craig. Okay, Reese versus Craig. So we'll see. The league table will have changed. Uh, the Premier League table will have changed. Everything will change. So make sure you tune into next week's match preview battle to see how they all did and how that's affected the league table. Let us know in the comments section below what your predictions are. Who will win what? What will the Spurs score be? What selection should Poch make? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. This is the 8-bit debate. We haven't done one of these for quite a long time because it's been such a great season that Spurs haven't really...